Okay, can you still do fifth grade math? That is the topic of this video. And we're going to challenge ourselves with this problem, uh, 2.8 divided by 3 tenths. And of course, we want to do this without the aid of a calculator, okay? Just like we did back in the fifth grade so many years ago. Now, for me, the fifth grade was, I believe, 1978, 77, 78, I believe, somewhere around that. It's definitely in the 1970s because I all I remember was um, gas lines and disco music, okay? So <laughs> for those of you who are uh, my age remember, um, you know, the 1970s, but by, some of you may not know this, but let me just tell you, tell you real quick, the, there was a gas problem way back in the 1970s, and on your license plate, depending on whether your license plate ended with like an odd or even number, so like eight on the even number, you could get gas like on uh, Monday, uh, Wednesday and Friday. It was crazy. So I remember being in gas lines and of course, you know, the disco music blaring, but it was still fond memories for myself. And of course, I remember being in school, uh, doing arithmetic. Okay. Everyone's favorite uh, topic. And you know, we're doing this math by hand. Okay. And so some of you may not think that there's still value in having to do math by hands. Well, nothing could be further from the truth. You still need to know arith arithmetic, especially if you plan on being successful in any math course like algebra and beyond, okay? So we gotta know this stuff. But listen, if you forgot this, no big deal. Let's see if we can go back and brush up uh, our memory and um, you know get you to remember this stuff. Now, what I want you to do is to go ahead and pause the video do this problem, okay, and then put your answer in the comment section if you do kind of remember how to do it. Now, some of you will be like, why do I even need to remember this? That was a long time ago. Forget all that stuff. Well, listen, you know, math is important, and, you know, who knows? One day you may not be there, and you may not have your phone or your calculator around, and you're going to have to do some basic arithmetic. So this is not that difficult, and I'm going to review exactly how to do this uh, with basic arithmetic in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But uh, if you happen to be a math student that is struggling, okay, maybe you're not getting enough math instruction or maybe you're not connecting with your teacher's uh, teaching style, whatever the case might be, I've been teaching math for decades and I really focus on trying to make math clear and understandable. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, I can help you excel in math if you're preparing for any test that has uh, a math section on it. So I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, ACCUPLACE, or ALEC exam, teacher certification exam, you get the idea. I can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, you definitely got to check out my full homeschool math program. And if you need some math notes, don't panic. You can use my math notes. I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get into this problem. 2.8 divided by 3 tenths. There's a couple different ways you can uh, approach this problem. Okay, so I'm not going to make a judgment uh, on how you did this as long as you can get the right answer without the aid of a calculator. So let's get going. And this is the way I'm going to do this problem. So I'm going to take my 2.8 here, okay? I'm going to focus in on this part right here. We have 2.8. And I'm going to say, you know what? I can either work in decimals. I could uh, take this uh, 3 tenths and turn this into a decimal. So I have decimal divided by decimal. Or I can take 2.8, turn this into a fraction. So I'm dealing with two fractions. And I'm going to elect to turn 2.8 into a fraction. So 2.8 is the same thing as 2 plus 0.8, and 0.8 is the same thing as 8 tenths, okay? So right here, you would say this, you would uh, verbally say this as 8 tenths, and I bet you a lot of you out there forgot that's how you say that, but that's how you say that. So if you ever want to change a decimal to a fraction, you got to know how to, um, you know, actually pronounce it or verbalize it. Uh, correctly. So this is 8 tenths. So 2.8 is the same thing as 2 and 8 tenths or 2 plus 8 tenths. Now I can write that uh, uh, value right here, 2.8 as 2 plus 8 tenths, or I can write it as a mixed fraction like this, 2 and 8 tenths. And then here I can just change this uh, in, uh, mixed number fraction into an improper fraction. So you remember how we do that. We go uh, 10 times 2, that's 20. 
So 20 plus 8 is 28 over 10. Okay, so 28 over 10 is this, uh, a fractional equivalent of the decimal 2.8. Okay, now, of course, if we wanted to, you know, just double check our work, you know, and if you wanted to, you know, cheat a little bit, you can go and take 28 divided by 10, and you'll see you'll end up with the decimal 2.8. But the main idea is, however you, um, if you're going to take the approach of changing a 2.8, uh, that decimal, into a fraction, uh, you want to end up with 28 over 10. Now, we can uh, reduce this fraction, but we're going to hold off here because you're going to see uh, in its current form, it's going to come in very handy. So let's go ahead and now uh, get back to our problem. Okay. All right, so we have 2.8 divided by 3 tenths. Now we, we change that 2.8 to a fraction. So we have 28 uh, over 10 divided by 3 tenths. So this is... Uh, the same problem, but now we have 2.8 written as a fraction. So now we need to know how to deal with division of fractions. So how do we divide fractions? Well, if you recall, what we're going to do is we're going to change uh, that division symbol to multiplication. Okay, that's multiplication, or you can use that operation, uh, that operator. They're the same thing. So I'm going to use that little multiplication operator right there. But when we change, when we go from division to multiplication, we have to flip the fraction to the right of that division symbol upside down. We call that the reciprocals. So instead of 3 tenths, we now have 10 over 3. Okay. So when I go from division to multiplication, this goes to this, this fraction needs to flip upside down. So I have 10 over 3. So I have 28 over 10 now uh, times 10 over 3. So now, how do we multiply fractions? Well, we just multiply the respective uh, numerator, so 28 times 10, and the respective denominator is 10 times 3. But for those of you that uh, were paying attention way back in the fifth grade, you can say, oh, can I just cross-cancel these 10s? Yes, you can. So again, 28 times 10 over 10 times 3 would be the final answer, but we want to go ahead and reduce, and we can cross-cancel common factors right here. Okay, whatever factors in the numerator, if I had the exact same factor down in the denominator, I could cross-cancel, and I'm left with this fraction, 28 over 3. Now, of course, I could take 28 and divide it by 3, but that's okay. This fraction is fully simplified. So if you got this right, okay, one, be uh, thankful that you had an awesome fifth-grade math teacher, uh, but two, nice job. Let me go ahead and give you a nice, happy face. And for those of you that do remember the fifth grade uh, and you're my age, you might remember those Mohawks they had back in 1982. Uh, but anyways, let me give you that A plus and 100%. And in the fifth grade, I believe they were still giving out little fancy stars. That might have been more like the second grade or the first grade. I remember the first grade pretty well because my first grade math teacher... Um, in Southern California, it used to smoke right outside the classroom. I think that was like 1975. Pretty crazy stuff, things that you certainly can't do today as teachers. But anyways, this is the answer, 28 over 3. So if you got that right, excellent. Now, if you totally forgot that, but, you know, you remember, oh, okay, just by watching me do this prom, all this is kind of coming back to you, well, then that's good, too. That's the whole main idea. I mean, as far as the utility here of this problem, well, you know, if you have a calculator around, of course you're going to use your calculator to do this problem. But the but the big broader point is this, you know, arithmetic is still a very very it's an underappreciated uh, math skill, okay, your or math knowledge because, you know, we we're so surrounded by technology. But believe me when I tell you, one day you might very well find yourself without a calculator or a phone to do these calculations. You don't want to be stuck. You want to practice your arithmetic. So that's reason number one that you want to keep your skill sets up. And reason number two is if you uh, plan on continuing your math education, or if you're going to be taking algebra or beyond, you need to understand these concepts of decimals and fractions. Believe me when I tell you, arithmetic plays a very important role in algebra and beyond. So 
Anyways, hopefully this video was entertaining in some microscopic way and even more important, uh, more importantly, it was educational. And if that is the case, go ahead and smash that like button. I would certainly appreciate that. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. Been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic math to advanced math. I do stuff from arithmetic all the way up to calculus. My goal is to try to make math clear and understandable. So please take advantage of all the content that I've made. But uh, my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.